so this video will show you how to make a box that has got more than four sides so a octagonal box for example um, first thing you need to do is you need to set up a new sheet um, so file new now I've already got mine set up I need you to have a width of 900 and a height of 600 uh, the reason for this is is this is the maximum size of the laser cutter bed and you won't be able to cut out anything that's larger than that on our laser cutter so if you want it landscape click OK and there's your uh, base for you to draw this on now if we go to one of the existing box nests I've got this obviously will make a rectangular um, box we've got tabs etc on it now you will notice that some of the lines are red and some of them are black the reason that they are different colors is the black lines will cut out on the laser cutter and the red lines will be engraved or alternatively scored so we're going to draw your octagon or hexagon or whatever sided shape i'm going to use an octagon for this um, and you will see that the the rectangle in the middle of this is red and so we are going to follow that pattern and create a red octagon so first of all we need to go to the polygon tool and click anywhere on your side now i want six sides so that's fine i need to know my radius okay my radius is from the center point out to the edge so if I want a complete width of my box of 300 millimetres, then my radius is therefore going to be, to be 150 because that's half. Click OK. So there is my base. Now what you're creating first is the very bottom of the box, the base of the box. Um, not the lid, we're going to forget about that for now. Now this as you can see is not black it's not red sorry so we're going to change the line color to black red even and get this the right way around eventually and we don't want a fill on the inside the laser cutter does not recognize fill so everything we draw on this should be a no fill so now we should have it red and it should have no fill i'm going to zoom slightly into this so much like the other one where we've got our sides we're now going to draw the sides on here now you need to draw them as rec a rectangle this will no you don't we're going to draw them as lines and this will help you to create the right size so separately i'm going to draw a line and i'm going to make the height of my box the length of this line and the height of my box i'm going to make 45 millimeters high okay there is my line and I'm now going to position that line on the edge here that line doesn't look very straight to me let's draw it again now we're going to keep it red it may turn black later so let's put one on the end here and copy and paste it and place one on the end there now i know that the edge of my box the bit that goes across here is going to be black okay because it's going to be the outside that the laser cutter is going to cut so let's just draw a line that joins the two. There we go. Now, what you need to do is you need to replicate this on each side. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some maths. So, we know that the whole box is going to be 360 degrees around. So to work out the angles that we need, 
we need to do 360 divided by 6. Now, you should be able to do this fairly easily in your head. And it should be 30. No, it shouldn't. It should be 60. 360 divided by 6 equals 60. So we know that the angle that that needs to go from is round to 60. So if you go to object and you go to transform, if you go to the rotate tool, the rotate tool will come up and it will use whichever one you've got before. So we're going to put in 60 degrees. I want a preview of it. There we go. So that's going to go round on to this side of it. And I want to copy it. So I've copied it. And now I'm just going to position it on the edge. And I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to transform, rotate, angle of 60, I want to copy. There we go, position that on the end. Now, I'm going to continue this. You don't need to watch this, so I'm just going to pause it and I'll come back to you once I've got all of those bits done. Right, so I've now got all of my six sides onto my box. Now, I need to have tabs to hold this bit to this bit and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the left side of each. Now, bearing in mind that that goes round like this. So it's every other one and I'm going to colour them black because we're going to cut one side and put a tab on the other. So let's get those black. There we go. Now the side with the red on is going to be the side that has your tab. So let's zoom in to one of the areas and then we can create the tab that is going to link this bit to this bit. So first of all, what I'm going to draw is I'm going to draw a rectangle here. I'm going to draw it 15 millimetres wide and the same height, which was 45. Okay. Now, because this is a marking tool, I'm going to colour it bright orange so that I know that it's something that is completely there for references only. So, that is how wide my tabs are going to be. Now I need to actually generate the tab. Now the tab is going to be cut out in black. So if I start in this corner and hold shift, I should be able to create a 45 degree line and drag it to my path tool. Now that's going to be black. I'm going to do exactly the same from the bottom because I know it will fit in. So my line is less than the ang the angle of this line is less than this angle that we created here. And then just to finish this off, I'm going to join those two bits together as so. Then I'll delete that orange box. So now what you should see is a tab there, and that will allow me to glue this to this. Now I want to select all three parts of this. I'm not going to group any of this, the reason being is the laser cutter doesn't read groupings. If you group something, the whole file will not work. So, there we go. We need to put this tab on here, here, etc, etc, all of the red zones. So we're going to go 60 degrees and exactly the same way we did the side of the box. We're going to rotate 360 degrees. We want a copy. We want a preview. So we're going to go around to the left again. I'm going to have to zoom in to position this piece in the right place. Let's move it and position it on the edges of here. And then I will continue doing the same, but again, you don't need to watch me do all of those bits. Right, so now I've got all of my tabs on there. Uh, you should be able to see the path, the black path that the laser cut is going to take to cut out, and also the red path where it's going to score bits so that we can bend this up easily. Now, 
let's go so that we can see the whole screen. Um, there we go. Um, I'm just going to move the whole thing over to the left hand side a little bit so that we can see a little bit more room. Now I'm going to copy and paste this. Um, the reason being is I'm now going to generate my lid. Okay, the lid needs to be larger than the base. The reason being is the thickness of the material is not going to allow you to put one over the other if it's not slightly larger. Now, the percentage that we want to increase this by is 3%. We want, so we want to go to transform and scale. And up here, we want to use the uniform bit. Now, because I've already done one of these before, I've already got it set at 103. Now, we want it 3% larger. So that's 100 plus the 3. It's not just 3%. So 103, and then we want it, we don't want it copy, we want it to be this one. So we go, OK. Now, hopefully, you will have seen that that grew ever so slightly. Now we've got our lid and our base. And we are ready to laser cut, provided that we haven't grouped anything and that the lines are all um, solid lines, one point with no fill. So let's just double check this. So if I select everything, it won't know what colour it is because there's both red and black being used, but it should be able to indicate that there is no fill on any of these should also be able to go to object and look at ungroup. If you have to click ungroup, you need to click it until it all disappears and you cannot ungroup it any further. As I haven't grouped anything, mine will not allow me to ungroup it. It just isn't going to do anything. So that is your box ready to be laser cut. So let's go to file and then we need to save it as a normal Illustrator file. And let's save that. And then you need to go to file and you need to export it. You need to export it as this, a DXF file. Okay, This is the sort of file that the laser cutter reads. So you need to save it as a DXF file. Now, mine will come up slightly differently to yours. On here, you will have a list of all different things. You need to make sure that all of the top bullet points are selected. Once you've done that, click OK, and it will save it as a DXF file that we can then laser cut. Now, what I need you to do is I need you to save yours and email me both the Illustrator file and the DXF file. Good luck.